Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel in Homestead. And uh, uh oh, I don't think it's a sparkling day here in Central Oregon. It's just a blur day. <laughs> so we do have blue skies, but I feel wind and I see a little bit of clouds and I know why. Because our weather's <clears throat> going to finally change to fall starting tomorrow but that's not what I want to talk about today today I want to talk about containing the pigs using premier fencing now the problem is here in central Oregon is it really hasn't really rained much for about five months so our ground is really dry and I keep telling you when we're trying to do cover crop and all that stuff that we're trying to uh, <clears throat> uh, grow stuff and the only way to do it is with water. Well, the thing I wanna talk about is the pigs. And uh, last night uh, was Sherry's mother's birthday. She's 85. Uh, it, uh, uh, it's a little hard to take her out. She's not, she's in assisted living and uh, we did get her out and she was really happy but she started not feeling good so ended up being kind of a short uh, dinner and uh, at the same time just before I, I was going to meet Sherry in Redmond uh, our little town here uh, my pigs my uh, older piglets got out and I, I know exactly why and I, I had it under control and stuff but the problem is is uh, I've never had any trouble whatsoever with my fencing in the fall and winter and spring but this summer was so dry that I've been having a heck of a time uh, getting my fences to ground good in the uh, because our, our soil is so dry uh, so what I really need to do all the time in the dry weather is soak the ground just like I do when I'm putting a uh, planting and stuff is uh, keep it moist because uh, uh, yeah it just uh, it won't ground out very well I have the same problem with this little pin here uh, I really am not getting that much of a jolt out of it because it's just not grounding very well I'm not too worried about the chickens, but the piglets, they're, uh, when they start discovering that they can handle the zap, uh, at least these five piglets that I have that I got to grow to full size, <clears throat> they get out. <clears throat> so I got to get better about soaking the ground better. And uh, I have to start really taking this serious because... Uh, if those little gilts that are in there that are growing to full size uh, get too close to my bore, uh, Sparky will go insane and he won't care about power either. And yet he doesn't usually, he doesn't push gates. But these little piglets over here, man, there's something else. So I need to get, make sure I'm taking this a little serious because uh, uh, otherwise I'm going to have problems with between piglets and the boar now this morning everything looks fine they're all contained so I'm happy about that but uh, uh, today we're gonna soak the grounds around their uh, ground rods make sure the, these fences stay charged up uh, I like the premier fencing because of the mobility and the fact that we have to move our pigs throughout all, all this property uh, to develop this land so uh, yeah but uh, I get it. now it won't be long in fact this, I told you it's already our weather's changing we're gonna start this problem will go away but it will be back and I need to be aware of it I think the other thing I'd like to do is eventually uh, <clears throat> buy better ground rods <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, in the meantime, I have a German Shepherd 
just ready to go chase these little piglets and have some fun. But I tell you, if I had a disaster of any disaster at all, is if my uh, piglets get out. So, uh, get that all locked up and let's get these guys fed. All right, guys, so uh, what I've been doing uh, with this fencing is uh, as I'm watering the pigs and stuff, I'm soaking the ground around the ground rods uh, at each uh, station. And uh, yeah, it's uh, the other thing is uh, I think it's because our sun's getting a little bit not as strong as before. Uh, I'm making sure that these chargers over here are uh, being recharged. Uh, I do have electricity out to ever can reach all these paddocks. So I'm charging them up too to make sure they've uh, got good uh, power to them. And uh, I think one of the reasons why I don't have too much trouble over here as I do over there is I have a lot of uh, water that has seeped into the ground here and is causing a good ground over here. Uh, Sparky's, uh, his uh, charger's right here and it gets kind of dry over here so I... Uh, uh, I'm trying to make it a habit to soak the ground as much as I can around the, uh, where the <clears throat> uh, ground rods are. And uh, that does seem to help. So, uh, yeah, so one of the drawbacks about electric wire, I would have the same problem with a single wire um, if I can't get them grounded well. So, uh, uh, but yep. Hey, Spark. How do you think? So he's got a full belly now, they're all full. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get these guys all watered up, soak the grounds around the ground rods and uh, see if that helps. Well, it's a little later in the day. I don't feel like I got a lot done. Uh, I did get one thing done though, is uh, I've been trying to get a seventh video camera working. Finally got it paired properly and uh, I had to bring it back in the house to do it. And, uh, I have no idea what she's barking at. But uh, anyway, I finally got it working and paired up. And I installed it in the back of the uh, chicken coop over there to look over the fence at the piggies. Uh, just to make sure everything's going all right. And uh, seems to be working fine now, so I'm very happy about that. And I want to remind you guys, uh, I can see my pigs see me today come running uh tonight's our podcast tonight's a free-for-all more of a chat and uh so uh yeah uh we have a podcast every thursday at 6 p.m and uh it's live so uh it's a really fun show to show up on live because we can see your comments and and uh comment on uh, or shape the discussion and we're just going to talk about uh, updates on each other's homesteads I think we'll have Dragonfly Farms there uh, John and Debbie Sternberg uh, Hobby Pig Farm and uh, myself of course and uh, I did earlier today get all the chickens watered up and fed and water. I had to add water to the dust buckets I got a feeling it's the last time because uh our temperatures are going down and the tomatoes should be shutting down. So it's almost 4.30 here on a Thursday, which means uh, pigs like it because I feed them a little earlier. Uh, so now that it gets dark earlier, I got to get the pigs fed uh, before the podcast. So uh, that's what I'm up to, heading on out there. All the pigs are in their paddocks. Everybody's happy. I got the ground nice and wet. <laughs> so uh, everything's uh, grounding out well. So yeah, uh, let's get these guys fed. So I thought real sh quick like I'd show you what it looks like to feed these guys for one round. I have two buckets here with two scoops of food in it, which is about five pounds each, I would say. This one's for Sparky. He'll get about uh, three pounds, two and a half. 
and then uh, the two girls get uh, two scoops also, about the same as Sparky's. Uh, so yeah, uh, we do that twice a day. So uh, one thing uh, you gotta know if you're gonna have piglets or pigs, uh, they definitely are eaters, <laughs> big time. Uh, luckily, pig feed per pound compared to chicken actually seems a little cheaper. Uh, but uh, but obviously the chickens don't eat as much as the pigs do. So anyway, uh, yeah, pigs are definitely uh, heavy on the wallet. But uh, boy, it's sure worth it though. Uh, anyway guys, uh, gosh, I can't believe it's actually a cloudy day. Can you believe it? Uh, feels good though. So anyway guys, let me get this out to the piggies. All right, I'm at Sparky right now, right here. And you always make it hard for me to get my food to you, don't you? Huh? Yeah. So, uh, somehow he's got his bowl here upside down. I've got to try to reach it without <coughs> him acting like a boar. And, uh, he's my yellow scooper here. <coughs> and, uh, <coughs> oops. Sparky gets kind of excited for food. So he's all fed. Now it's on to the, I have four piglets left over here. And they're all females. And they're, some of them are breed quality too, by the way. So if you want a pig, and you want, or you want a breed Idaho pasture pig breed quality, there's some winners, definitely some winners here. Uh, if I have to wait much longer, they're gonna become feeders. It's kind of sad. Uh, I've got all the breeders I need. So, uh, yeah, let's get them fed. Well, all the pigs are fed. They always act like it's, like it's never enough. And uh, I've been making sure I'm saturating the ground a little more with these fences. And uh, I still got these guys over on the other side to do. The new camera, by the way, is right behind the greenhouse. Uh, the, chicken coop there kind of hard to see but anyway it looks across here so I can actually keep an eye on these piggies since they seem to be my troublemakers and uh yeah so let me get the other pigs all watered up we'll be done with my chores well I look around out in the skies and stuff and a little bit of a breeze changes in the air for sure uh, I think this is kind of what we call the last day of summer <laughs> even though it's fall uh, we're definitely going to start dropping into colder temperatures. I think Saturday or Sunday or sometime, I think Sunday is the closest we'll be getting to freezing temperatures in the morning, at nighttime. So, uh, yeah, it's coming. The days of wearing just a shirt is going to go. <laughs> and it'll be parka time. And that's where we'll be really, we'll start getting our quest for wanting warm weather uh after the when spring comes but until then we got to go through this cycle so be it i guess uh the other thing that's coming up in our uh, agenda is uh, uh the water systems that water all of our grasses and stuff uh it will be shut down uh in a couple of weeks and we have a guy that comes out and does that and blows out our uh, water uh mains basically get all the uh moisture out of them so he brings a big compressor in and uh, blows out our our lines so uh and this grass won't <laughs> stay very green uh it'll start just kind of stop growing and it'll start browning a little bit until spring and uh meantime i did turn on the sprinklers for what's left of my onions and stuff and this weekend with the temperatures dropping and all that, we'll pull all the little onions out of there. We do have a couple of uh, watermelons in here. I may pull those and take one in and maybe give one to the pigs. And uh, uh, I'll probably be shutting down the Dutch bucket systems uh, too, because it's just gonna be too cold for tomatoes to make it anymore. I'll be glad when that's over. So uh, let me shut the water off here. And uh, call it a day. All right, chickens.
piggies all have a great evening you too guys and uh please take the time to like subscribe and share to our videos uh we really appreciate it and uh try to join us on our podcast we'd really like to have you we got lots of things coming up got some builds to do and uh still cleaning out gardens so guys have a great day and thanks for watching talk to you later bye now our videos are made possible by ranger rob poopy bags available at amazon right now thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world thanks